Hey fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to yet again another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. So this is a Redstone video. I'm in Minecraft 1.17.1 and I'm on the Java edition right here. And this information video or this tutorial should work for Bedrock as well, I believe. And within this video, I'm going to be showing you redstone logic gates so all of the basic redstone logic gates within the game that you can actually make now these logic gates are not the only way that you can build them but they're certainly some of the most simplest ways in order to actually build these logic gates now just before i get into the tutorial right here i just want to remind you i do lots of different minecraft content so if you do enjoy the video and like the video then be sure to check out the channel and subscribe now i'm just going to breeze over an understanding of logic gates and what they actually are so logic gates essentially follow a particular pattern so this redstone block here is to, is meant to represent power or redstone power that is being supplied and obviously this can be here or not here and then this block of diamond is meant to symbolize the logic gate itself so some processing gets done here and then depending on the processing of what it's actually checking with the power coming into the gate it will then either be off the logic gate or on so you would have an an off state or an on state basically that is what a logic gate does and each logic gate is different in what it actually does in this diamond block stage so here for example we have two redstone power inputs and then you would then have the diamond blocks right here that that is actually the logic gate where it's going to do the processing and then you would then either get off or on as a state at the end. So basically that is what logic gates actually are. And I am actually going to be showing you seven redstone logic gates in total. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone, the first gate we're going to learn is the AND gate. So this is how you make a very simple AND gate. And basically the AND gate takes in two inputs. So we've got two levers here that we can actually give power to. And the only time the output is on is if both inputs are on. So as you can see, the redstone lamp is not turned on, but if I turn both of them on, then the redstone lamp turns on. So that is what you use the AND gate for. Both inputs need to be powered or on in order for the output to be on. So I am now going to show you how to make this. So we've got our two inputs here. We then have our redstone dust. We then have the logic gate itself, like so. So you, you do something like that. Two redstone torches, three blocks, a redstone torch on the back, some redstone dust in the middle and then some redstone dust coming out and then a redstone lamp which is meant to signify the power output so you can obviously replace this with anything you actually want to and uh, that's about it for the and gate itself a very simple gate and a very very common one now the next logic gate is the or gate so the or gate is one of the simplest logic gates you can actually do now this also has two inputs like the and gate but it's slightly different the redstone output or the the is actually on like an on output i should say um if either input is on or both so basically at least one of the inputs needs to be on for the output to be on as well so you can see that the actual lamp is not on right now but if i turn on one of the levers the lamp is on if i have both of them the lamp is on if i have the other one on then the lamp is on and so on in order to actually make this this is how you make this so you've got your two inputs you then are going to place down a block here and then you're going to want to do something like this so that you can connect them up 
And then all you then need to do is just bring this towards the redstone lamp. So that is it. That is the OR gate done. And of course, like with the other gates, you can actually connect this to anything you want. And uh, it doesn't have to be a redstone lamp. I'm just using the redstone lamp to show you when the gate is actually outputting power. Now, the next gate is the NOT gate. So the NOT gate is one of the more different gates within this collection, only because it has a very, very simple operation that it does. So as you can see here, the input is only one. So it's a one input system. And as you can see here, um, the lamp is on. So basically all this, all this does is inverts the input. So if the input is off, then the output is on. If the input is on, then the output is off. So that is why it's called a NOT gate because it essentially does the opposite of what you're trying to get it to do. It's basically not doing what the input is doing. That is why it is called a NOT gate. So how you actually make this is that you have one input, you then go into a block like this with a redstone torch on the back, and that is it. You just need that right here. So one redstone dust, a block, a redstone torch, another bit of dust, and then a redstone lamp, and that is it. That is the NOT gate done. Now the next gate is the NAND gate. So technically this is known as the NOT AND gate. So it's a bit of a weird one, this one. And basically the only time the output is off is if both of the inputs are on. That is basically what a NAND gate does. As you can see, the, um, the actual lamp right here is actually on with both of the inputs off. So we have two inputs again. And if I turn one of them on, the lamp doesn't turn off. So the output doesn't turn off. And same for the other side. The only time that the output is off is when both of them are on. So basically you can't have both of them on to get an output that is on, as you can see with this demonstration. Now, this can be used in a few circumstances, but in order to actually build this, what you do is you do this. So it's very similar to the AND gate. So you need three blocks, two inputs like so. You then need two redstone torches, and then you need some redstone dust coming down like that. And then you go straight into your redstone block. And that is the NAND gate done. Now this next one is the NOR gate. So the NOR gate is the NOT OR gate. So it's a pretty weird one. And um, this one is very useful in circuitry because basically it's, it's almost like a logic gate that detects the presence of power. So if there is power at all on the logic gate, then the power goes off. So if I turn on this lever, the power goes off. If I turn on this one, the power goes off. If I have both of them on, the power is off. As you can see, the only time you get power is if the gate is not powered at all. So that is why it's incredibly useful. As you can see, it's a very simple gate with two inputs. So in order to do this, what we do is we have our two inputs. We then have these right here like so. And then on the back of the block, we then place a redstone torch with a piece of redstone dust with our redstone lamp. And that is the NOR gate done. You might actually notice that the, um, the NOR gate is actually just a combination of the NOT gate and the OR gate. There's basically a bit of a combination factor going on here with this particular logic gate. All right, everyone, now we're getting onto some more complicated ones, but these are still fairly basic and very useful in redstone circuitry. So the next logic gate we have is the exclusive OR gate, or the XOR gate for short. So this is a very useful gate, and basically it's very similar to the OR gate that I showed you previously in this video, but the only time the actual 
output of the gate is on is if one of the inputs is on but not both. So in order to actually show that, as you can see, if I have one input on, the lamp is on. If I have the other one on, the lamp is on. But if I have both, the lamp turns off. So in other terminology or in other words, the only time the exclusive OR gate is on is if the inputs are different to each other. That is right. So as you can see, they are currently the same because both of them are off. But as soon as I make them different to each other, the gate actually turns on. So that is why it can be very useful. So here we are going to build it. It's slightly harder to make, but it is very useful. So you have your two inputs, and then what you then need to do is you need to do a small T like so, and then two other blocks like so. And then what you then need to do is get out your redstone torches, and you want to do something like this okay and with two redstone torches on the end like so so you need quite a few redstone torches for this one you need seven redstone torches in total and what you then need to do is redstone dust here here up to here like so and then some redstone dust at the end with the lamp at the end and that is it done as you can see and that is now a operational exclusive or gate. Now the final logic gate I'm showing you within this redstone video is the X nor gate. So this one is very strange. And as you might have guessed, this is an exclusive or gate that has been negated. So it's an exclusive nor gate. And this particular gate, what it actually does is the only time the lamp is on is if both of the outputs are off or if both of the outputs are on. So as you can see currently it's on. If I have both of them on the output is on but as soon as I have only one of the inputs on the output is off. So in other words what this is what this is actually doing is if the inputs are the same as each other the output of the gate is on. So as you can see, both of them are off, so they are both the same, so hence the output is on. But as soon as I make them different to each other, the output turns off. So this is very similar to the XOR gate we made a moment ago. So we're going to do the exact same structure right here. So you do a small like T-like shape like that. You then are going to want to place down your blocks like this. So you basically are just making a very standard like thing that you would already make for an exclusive board gate like so. Um, so like this. And then the next step you need to do in order to make it an XOR, XNOR gate is you need to do this. You need to place some redstone dust at the end between these two redstone torches. You then need to place another block with a redstone torch at the end of it, like so. And then you then go out to a redstone block or redstone light like that. And that is the XNOR gate done. And that is basically it. And you can use that for many different applications. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this Minecraft Redstone tutorial. It shows you how to make all of the basic redstone logic gates within Minecraft. Hopefully my explanation at the beginning and also how each of the logic gates work was good within this video. And hopefully you learned a bit more about redstone circuitry and how you can use these logic gates within your Minecraft world. But if you did enjoy the video and liked what you see, then please like the video, be very much appreciated. And also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter link is in the description, or you can follow the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Duraki Series on Twitter. And also, if you want to subscribe for more Minecraft content, so more Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft Redstone tutorials, Minecraft mods, Minecraft scene showcases, all kinds of different content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal. So if you could help me achieve that, then that would be absolutely amazing. 
And until the next Minecraft Redstone tutorial, hopefully you have a nice day. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.